Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we did take a bit of a pasting last episode. Uh, we managed to make it through our financial report without a problem. I did jump systems as the three and a half skull mission was for Clan Wolf against Jade Falcon. And we still were trying to get our, our rep up for Jade Falcon. So I didn't want to take that. So we jumped systems, got some mechs repaired. The uh, Atlas is back. So let's have a quick look at that right, right quick. Uh, we made a couple of minor re repairs to these guys. So there, we got six mechs up and running right now. Uh, let's have a look at this guy. So the system we're in right now is a four skull system and there's a lot of uh, uh, missions for Jade Falcon and Wolf uh, at lower skull values. So that's going to be good. We can use only a couple of mechs uh, to pull those off. Now we got a lot of space. We, the missile hard points are two in the one torso but we got two ballistic in this torso meaning we can put either the, if you go to etc here, the sawed off thumper can go in here if we want to go with ranged. Um, it's got 870 meter range which is great. We only have regular ammo um, but it's got minus uh, regular accuracy and minus direct fire accuracy so I don't know if we want to go with this guy. But then there is also the broadside here which was working well against us fairly well. It's 10 tons. Uh, it's a mortar and we do have, we go to ammo here uh, etc. Here we go. So we've got, we've got one ton of acid ammo, which is four rounds of firing, four turns of firing, uh, which does 50% more damage to regular armor. So we could use that first to weaken the enemy. Then we've got fast cam, if we want to use fast cam, which I don't think we do because we haven't had much success with that. But we do have flare, uh, which gives us a bonus to hit the enemy. Uh, we have inferno, which is obviously, you know, it's been working against us. We could use it against the enemy. And we got regular smoke here. So if we got a guy that's hitting us from a good range and stuff and can see us, we can use this. Um, and it lowers uh, his visibility, uh, his ability to hit, his sensor strength. Uh, and it le uh, it's a 150 meter radius too, right? So um, it does very little damage, but for two turns, uh, uh, two turns of firing, um, we can basically limit certain people from shooting at us, which might be a, a, a good way to go. So this is going to take a lot of C bill or yeah, a lot of C bills to get up and running. Once we get the core uh, installed here, if we go with the 320, we're already up at 300 and whatever thousand. We want to switch out the end of steel. Uh, we want to put in clan armor. Uh, the end of steel clan is going to go in. So we're already at almost a million here, right? And we haven't done anything to it yet. So we're going to hold off for this. Uh, I didn't sell. Um, I didn't sell our two grand summoners. We still have those. They're about worth about 1.8 million each. But I want to hold on to those just in case. It's a possibility when we may be pulling these archers out of the battle. Uh, I don't, not 100% sure yet. But we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we didn't have much success with them last battle, but you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the command center here. Now I want to take smash and grab first, um, which is, if I can see this, it's against local government for Clan Jade Falcon. So if we negotiate this real quick, uh, as you can see, this will put us not anywhere near where we want to be unless we go this route. Uh, but we're going to pull off a bunch of Clan Jade Falcon missions here on this planet. So I want to go ahead and go full salvage on this and only go for a little bit because we're trying to assemble some mechs to get some uh, sea bills going. Uh, I know it's it's three and a half skulls so it's not, we're not going to get much but hopefully we can get a couple mechs out of this. Let's accept this. And let's go with, um, so I've made a decision. I think we're going to do, um, I don't think we're going to have uh, Infiltrator pilot the um, direwolf anymore. I think I'm going to switch this over to um, Gundal. Um, and most likely I will be taking the Atlas for long range fire and stuff because I, I, I mean, this guy's okay, but he's got better tactics and stuff. I, I don't know. I, I, I have not convinced it's the right way to go, but that's probably how we're going to do things. Uh, now this particular mission, I'm wondering if we just go this route, we don't need, it's a capture base. Um, let's go this route. This should be more than enough for this, I think. Command interface All right, here we go. Yeah, we got guys on our side. Meh. 
whatever. Achieve the memory core escape. There should be no problem. We're not escaping. We're taking everybody out. All right, duck. Uh, switch this over to full power AMS. And move forward. So my plans for the um, the Atlas, like I said, I think what we'll do is go arrow in one torso. Most likely it will end up being broadside in the other torso. Um, the idea of the thumper having the longer range is great, but I think the broad the uh, the broadside being able to target wide variety of enemies in one shot, I think will be better. Uh, let's just reserve. Get these guys out of my way here. I'm here. If they'll move, that is. Confirm. All right. Well, not much farther. Okay. What do we got back here? Crapple bolt. So yeah, I think with the uh, the one arrow system, now that we got Inferno ammo too, the broadside's got the ability for Inferno. Uh, being able to target groups of guys, I think, is probably a really good idea. And having the flexibility of the, uh, the mortars with the smoke, the acid ammo, which is going to increase incoming damage from from all sources for two turns. Um, I think that kind of that kind of flexibility, I think, with the mortar is probably a better idea. But we'll see how it goes. I don't know. I like the fact that it's indirect too. That really helps. Don't know if we're just going to be facing one group of guys. Doesn't matter anyway, we'll kill everybody. We will kill everybody. Waiting for orders. Alright, buddy. Copy that. Alright, what else do we got here? Her on warrior, eh? Huron used to live around or used to live where I where I'm kinda living right now. North of where I am actually. Panther, huh? Engage sure. Alright. Well. It's going to take us a while to get up there. Reporting. Not for you, though, eh, bud? That panther. Nice. Oh, for Christ's sake. Who's got an arrow? Who's got a tag barrage? Somebody shoot these fuckers. Shoot me in the back with self propelled artillery. Someone's got a tag. Goofy's got one. Mr. Dorn mentioned that if if some of these guys get killed, Commander? their mech parts might show up in the actual uh, salvage options. Which I thought was interesting. I don't know if that's going to actually happen or not, but it might be something we want to do is kill these guys. Anyway, I don't I don't roll like that though. He's running. Better not shoot me in the back. I'm hoping I can take somebody's head off here. Doesn't matter what mech it is that we get. Her on warrior is what? 50 tons? 40 tons? If we can get this catapult, that'd be nice. How might I help? Walk it up. Walk it up. You're in range with HE though, right? Yeah, oh yeah, you are. Of course you are. As you wish. Good to go. 
I'm just picking on him because he's got a PPC and I don't want him shooting me with it. Hit him with these guys. Alright, penetration there. Nice. Better not shoot me in the back. Guy's running. Don't kill that guy, I gotta shoot his head off. I really hope this isn't it. They better have one more lance. Usually another lance appears between where you rescue the, or recover whatever it is you're recovering and where you gotta escape once, you've get, once you get it. But we'll see how it goes, I don't know. It's our helicopter going now. Yeah, that Atlas is going to be a tricky build. I don't know. I really want to sell it. I know you guys would never forgive me if I did. So I don't know. I'll see about, I don't know. It's kind of a weird loadout because we got a ballistic, ballistic on one side and an arrow will be on the other side in the torsos. And there's just enough room for, I think, three tons of ammo for each side plus case. And that's it, you know. And then the arms have each got a um, have each got a support hard point, so they could put the AMSs in the arms. Or the center torso has got two hard points. It's got a compact gyro, so we have four slots in the center torso left over. So I could put AMSs in the CT. But then I got to store the ammo in the arms or something ridiculous like that. You know what I mean? I can't leave it in the CT. I'm receiving you. I don't know. I. I it's kind of a weird, um, it's kind of a weird design. This definitely doesn't have the flexibility of an Omnimech. Yeah, they're running. There's not much I can do about that either. Alright, what are they doing? Uh, I don't know. As long as this guy doesn't fire. If he shoots us again, Goofy's just going to turn around and blow him up. I, I, I can't take that. Yes, Commander. Fuck it, these guys want to run. We'll go after him. Want to hit this guy or what? Yeah, I don't know. I want to get the parts from the uh, catapult, so let's just go after this guy. Tango down. Thank you. You punk. He's in here trying to steal my kills. The worst part about shooting these guys in the back is I can't get headshots on them. I can understand not getting a headshot, but you should be able to target the legs and everything too, though, right? It just doesn't let you do it. Alright. Yeah, you better not shoot me in the back. Can't get up there yet. Not headshotting anybody. Standing by. Moving at full throttle. See if we can get rid of this guy. Should be more than enough. Copy that, Commander. Or not. Or yeah. That's a kill. What's the plan? All right. Um. Let's just get it over with. Oh, have your MRMs, eh? Let's get it over with. That 
Wow, the wanton destruction is just crazy. What's up, boss? Acknowledge. Yeah, loading the memory core. Nice little headdress on this guy. I don't think Hurons had those though. Pretty sure they didn't. Not sure why they you've got that on there. I think I think it was the Plains Indians, uh, or the sorry the Plains uh, Native Americans, that had headdresses like that. I don't think Huron and uh, the Cinnaboyne and Iroquois and stuff had those. I could be wrong, but. Pretty sure they didn't. See ya. Stole our kill. Awaiting orders. Yes, Commander. Stole our kill. Let's hope this is it. Wouldn't that be lovely? Wow, that was simple. Alright. Lost some money on the drop, but that's fine. Let's hope we get some half decent salvage out of this, because that was lousy. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Alright. So, oh, we can take three parses of her own warrior. Three parses of it. Well, we got some lag going on here. All right, guys, we had a major lag there trying to get stuff moved over, so I had to wait for it to kind of kick back in. We're going to take three parts of the Huron warrior. We'll take this heavy MRM. I know we had them in the past, but I didn't really go for them partially because of the weight and stuff, but this might be an, uh, another option for the... Uh, the Atlas. I know it's MRMs are direct fire. We do have some ammo for these, so that's a possibility. Um, but not gyro. Basic tracker sensors. Beautiful, because we lost some. Heavy MRM swarm. I don't think we need. We have. We don't have any of that. But I think we have FTL. We do. We do have other ammo for it as well. So I think we're okay. But we definitely need this for the archer that because we lost ours. Um, yeah, let's go this route because we can go ahead and sell this. Let's confirm it. Wow, we almost got everything, eh? That's beautiful. Lots of stuff. All right, <laughs> like no, no time for repair. I don't even know who got. Oh, we got shot in the back. That's right. <laughs> we got shot in the back. Just the night gear. All right, uh, let's go to the mech bay real quick. Let's assemble that Huron. Nice to Sorry, Huron. Uh, Huron, where are you here? Oh, we got enough to assemble a catapult too. Let's go ahead and do that. It's ready this guy. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of money for that part, but we're going to go ahead and do it because we'll get it back when we uh, repair this. Thank you. Thank you very much. And where's our Huron? Um, what? Oh, there you are. I'm just blind. Alright, see what they got here. Okay, Huron Warrior. Yeah, see, I don't think Hurons had that. Huron, I mean, sorry. I don't think they had that little flash him a pan I mean it looks interesting got a gauss rifle in the arm let's have a look just to see what it's got 250 cores so it's pretty fast for 50 tons yeah it carries a gauss rifle ER large really eh huh interesting medium pulse yeah sure it's not bad for 50 tons okay let's scrap this guy 
scrap. We got our money back, plus a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Let's see what this guy's got on him. Probably not a lot. Yeah, well, we got another heavy MRM-30. Beautiful. So we picked up two off this battle. Wait, this is an Omnimech? It's an Omni. I had, had no idea. Beautiful. We should get some good sea bills for this guy. Let's just scrap it. 959,000. Beautiful. We'll take it. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we got so we got enough mechs for another mission here. Let's go quickly. Whoops, not store. Come in, center. Come on. Come on. Take off your shoes. All right. So, uh, we're not going to go... Wait, this is against Jade Falcon. We don't want to do that just yet. Um, pulling linchpins. Corporate secrets. Rival corp uh, from the local. So, we're going to do this one. Recovery. Beautiful. We can do this. Full salvage. Oops. Uh, yeah, we have to. It's going to give us a bit of... Um, It'll give us a bit of C, a few C bills, but and a little bit of rep, which is what we need. Uh, Mastodon and yeah. So we're gonna go with the Zeus uh, Direwolf B because I want to eventually move that to Gundal. And this is a recovery mission, so let's go with. Um, this is the aero mech and this is the AMS. We want to go with arrows? Recovery mission? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's go this route. Let's deploy and get it done. Alright, here we go. Okay, they got, uh, yeah, a bunch of guys. Ah, okay. Recover the scientist. I'm listening. So I don't know what we're up against just yet. There's only four of us. Let's just move over here. Um, yeah, let's, might as well just do this. Firing on target. Now, I probably may have hit a few guys, but Order. we'll see. Heavy damage. Did ya? You got heavy damage, did ya? Is that what you got? You sure? Okay, let's make sure that's on. Nope. Yep. I don't think they've got turrets. They might have, though. Unlikely if it's just recovering the scientist. Yes, command. yes Commander. Alright, beautiful. See how you do, Gundal. So both Gundal and, um, and Dallas now have Gunnery 10. Oh, shoot. Is this an LRM guy? It is. Light carrier. We got a gladiator. Frankie. Frankie goes to Hollywood. Relax, man. Don't shoot me. Yeah. Could shoot the gladiator in the back. I mean, there's honor in war, but, you know, for me, it's just about getting out alive. Alright, let's hammer this guy. That one's done first. You got that right. You shoot first, 
and then ask questions later. Ask the questions later. Ah. I'm gonna bank on there being more guys up there. Don't think you need to move. You're okay there. Got an LRM 40 coming up. And then we'll see if Gundal can take the head off of uh, Frankie here. Raw lanks. Don't do it. Ooh, Wolfhound. Wolfhound. Of course. Just move forward a little bit. Make sure everyone's in your AMS circle. Alright, let's drop some shiz on this guy. 16%, huh? Well, should be enough. Yep. Supporting vehicle destroyed. I know we came here with overkill, but we need to get this shiz done. We need money. Money, parts. So really the only thing we're down now is the gunnery support. From the archer. Although the other archer, we need a Clan XL engine because we've got one in storage right now, but we need to get another one just to have his backup. But we got to replace that in the archer, which is why I'm thinking about maybe not going with an archer. Oh, Ostrock. Yeah, as long as you're not shooting at me, I'm fine. We might bring forward a Grand Summoner and put the Archer in storage. Because the Grand Summoner is going to be easy to fix. Now, it definitely can't be an LRM-70. I just don't think it's got... Well, it might have the weight to be able to do it. We'll see. And it's better off, I mean... Because we can put the LRMs in the arms. Rather than having them in the torsos. We've got those Omni uh, arm mods that give us plus one to hit which will help a little bit. I see him. Ooh, another crapper bolt. This is a 65 tonner? Oh no. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's got the MRM 30s, doesn't it? Not the heavy MRM 30s, just the regular MRM 30s. What do you got? A couple of LRM 10s? Shoot me in the back. We don't want to kill first here. I got a feeling it's going to be Frankie. 45 tons. MUTT7. What's an MU? Make sure you're standing in my AMS, guys. Be just fine. Alright, let's see what our chances to hit are. Oof, really? Wow. Okay. Really? See if that's any better. Probably not. Wow. Well, the arrow cracked over there somewhere. Looks like it landed a little short though. Yeah, penetrated somewhere. I got a feeling that Frankie's probably got an AC-20 on it. What was that? Axeman. Ooh, somebody's got a lot of missiles. Heavy damage. Where is it? Oh, it's way the frig up here. 60 ton. I wonder who's... Now you know who's getting the arrows the next turn. Prowler. Okay. 
A ghost? All right. I think they're trying to stop us from getting out of the water. You should be running. I think the catapult's got to die. Next. I think part of our problem is we're in... Got a height disadvantage. Commander. You can't, uh, oh. Pretty good chance to hit most of these guys. Well, we can hit that guy from here. Crapapult. A few good hits and he goes down probably, so let's do this. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did you? I don't think he did. Location confirmed. Okay, I'm wondering if we should switch. Like, we could take the he medium improved heavies off of the dashi and go with rack twos on that thing? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, I'm not going to go against this guy with the arrows. I think we'll use the arrows um, or the... Uh, we want to go here, like right here, I guess. We'll use the LRMs on that guy. Locked on target. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. That was a better choice, I think. Look at that thing spit, <laughs> spit AMS. Standing by. Okay, fire and maneuver. Let's go back to this guy. Wow, really? Really? Oh. Do this. A little higher. Still doesn't matter. Everybody's still in AMS pretty much. Um, really? Alright. Well, we may get lucky. Yeah, a couple points. Couple of points. Okay, not bad. I think it's going to have to be the arrow at that uh, LRM vehicle at the top of the hill. Don't think we're going to hit it with uh, LRMs. All right, Gundal. Commander. Hmm. Thirty-nine, forty-six on the Ostrock. Fifty-two on this guy. Let's go after Frankie goes to Hollywood. That's some pretty nice shots. Report critical hit. Position confirmed. All right, backing it up. Ooh, we got the Frankie for me. Thank you. Let's go.
going into salvage. That's all I care. Yeah, these missions doing hit and run. You'd have to have either have really far jump capable mechs with like tons of evasion and stealth and ECM um, or really fast stealth jump capable mechs because uh, there's no way you'd get through three or four lances to get in here and get away without them taking at least some casualties on you. Ow. Well, it's three and a half skulls. You can't expect it to be easy if we only got four mechs. The difficulty's like second from the or the second highest. So, which once we get heavier mechs, we might crank up even more. All right. What are you doing? Ooh, knockdown, nice. That'll help. So there's four guys here. And then two. So there's two more guys somewhere, I think. Oh. One. Okay, I don't know. I can't I I'm been keeping track of how many guys we killed. All right, let's uh, hopefully take care of this guy. Firing. Nope. Oh, my armor's melting off. Is it? Okay, workhorse. Move around this way. Still probably really low on this guy. Yeah, 0 0.9. I guess it's just like it's got to be the height advantage. That's not bad. Oh yeah, he's got the LRM 70s. That's right. Or sorry, not 70s, 17s. Wish I had an LRM-70. Oh wait, I do. I got two of them, remember? <laughs> Alright, let's attack this guy. Oof, really. Ah, it's multi. Let's go this route. And... Yep. Beautiful. Ooh, three hits. Nice. They're running. Crazy AMS, man. It's nice to be in battles like this now because it's uh, those last few or, or that last one that was just particularly rough. All right, we're going to crest this hill and kind of push this way. I'm going to see if um, Gundal can shoot the guy in the hill. All right, a little bit of damage. Nope. Let's push. What do we got? That's the ghost. Engage. Beautiful. Okay, Mama, take us home. I'm losing a lot of armor here. 
Well, then you need to deal with that vehicle. Can you can you actually get up there? You can't. Oh, wait, what? What? Oh, I saw a green line. Oh, there it is. We're jammed, but that's fine. Let's 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 leave this off too to get some heat back. Eh, yeah, firing. You're just tearing him up. All right, we got still this guy, still this guy. We got this guy up in the hill still. So workhorse will move forward. You jumping in front of me, you turkey. Alright, 20. Still, like, really bad. 25 on the Axeman. Let's just pummel this guy a little bit. Force these guys to run. They should change the fire to have it go out after one turn on a uh, jungle world. Because, I mean, this rain would put it out, I think. Well, if it's a chemical fire, maybe not. Yeah. All right. Um, get around here. Out. Should be able to finish this guy up. Still going. Really. After all that, he's still going. Okay, Gundal. There you go. Oh. Okay, guy on top of the hill is what? Forget it. Alright, see if we can claim this guy. Ooh, nice back shot. See ya. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come on, carrier. Alright. I was hoping you were going to shoot the guy up in the hill, but whatever. Okay. Huh. Get over here. Want her to engage the mechs over here. Affirmative. All right, a little bit of damage. That was a critical hit. I'm just shocked that this guy is still alive. Started off with like no armor. We're stripping everything. Yes, Commander. All right, what do we got? Twenty-three, forty-seven, two. Well, gonna be this guy. Putting one in the back. Nicely done. these back on so we can engage the prowler next turn. Don't know if he's stuck here. I don't think he is. Could be though. I think they've only got these four left. Still going. Out. 
Come on, finish him up this turn. Engaging the target. Oh my god, he's still going. Reporting minimal damage. I guess because we're not I guess we're just hitting every location for a handful of damage each turn, it's not really helping anything. Ostrock man, you got nowhere to run. Come on, get him. We still got to find that wolfhound. I don't know where the hell he went. Nice. Come on, shoot the guy up on the top. No. Alright. Okay. Good to go. You got it. We may get lucky. Oh. Not bad. I have no idea where the tag arrow went to. Oh, there it go. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll take that. Where are you? Oh, man. Where's the goddamn wolf found? That's what I want to know. Oh, there you are. Damn it. Oh, well. The <laughs> pieces of the thing are falling down the hill now. At least we can use the arrow in the back of the uh, wolf found over there. This guy doesn't kill him. Nope. Ready for orders. Position confirmed. All right. Now, do we want to? Twenty percent, twenty-five, eh? Really. Oof. Target neutralized. Don't stand in the fire. Oh, not in the fire. Beautiful. There we go. Some direct fire, finally. All right. Let's do it. Oh, let's do this and this. And this, and this. Not enough, huh? Alright, Gundal. Don't think you can get there. Nope. Not in this thing you can't. Beautiful. Nice. There it is, folks. That should clear the way. Receiving you. Roger that. I don't think we need to do anything other than just do this. I think that should do it. Good to go. That should be enough, I think. But just in case, let's just get up here in case they get some reinforcements. I doubt it, but we have the asset, there it is, folks. Beautiful. Okay, that might cover our repairs. Unlikely, but it might. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, ooh, okay. I think we just take the three. Oh wait, Frankie. Typical periphery Frank and Mech sporting a weirder way of weaponry and being dubbed, oh sorry, and being cobbled together for many different, okay that's really not, really not useful for anything. Ostrock perhaps we take, we don't have any catapult parts, ghost parts, no. Kaliyama AC-20. 
Recoil of one, really? That's it for this AC20? Well, flat 25% jam chance though. Increased damage, increased recoil, increased heat. Eh. Don't think medium improved heavy laser. Really? Um, Thunderbolt 5's anything any good? Don't think so. Well, tracker sensors. We could take three Ostrock pieces and a tracker sensor. Hydra ammo. Let's grab one of these guys. I think we'll need it for the Atlas, most likely. Um, and then let's grab the three Ostrock pieces. And then we should be relatively, f once, once we put this together, we should be relatively flush to be able to make our, our um, financial report. Okay, Gladiator part, we'll found part AMS. Core that we can sell, internal combustion engine we can sell, fuel cell we can sell. Yeah, nothing, nothing amazing. Yeah, well, that's a little more than I thought it was going to be, but we did get pasted by those out that LRM up in the hill. There's not much I can do about that. So I guess we're going to have to get mechs repaired between episodes here. Let's get that Ostrock forward just to see what we got here. Probably get a mill for it, maybe. It's a 60 tonner. There you are. That mech is ready to fight today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at what he's got. Um, yeah, I mean, I talked about this before. Kind of looks okay. Much better than the tabletop looking looking mech. Ah, he's got the core. We'll get that anyway. Alright. He's only got a pair of large lasers, huh? Okay, let's go back. And we'll scrap her. At least we get the, the core as well. So let's uh, scrap this. 741,000. Eh. Alright. So we're, we've are we almost got our financial report. I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff. Well, some stuff between episodes. Get everything repaired. Uh, we've got a lot of um, missions on this planet that we can take for Jade Falcon to get them up to Honored as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that and then we might be able to bounce back and forth between wo the Wolf and Falcon on this planet before we leave. Um, we've also got a bunch of... Wow. Summoner's Call. Take control of what you static on this. Don't expect negotiations on this. We also take control of what you static in this mission. Warning hard. Seven mil it's an assassinate for seven million s really? Makes me want to take this, but I don't think we're anywhere near capable of doing that. Promise rewards for the future. We will also take control of what you blah in this mission. Don't expect negotiations on this. Two million just for going after. Something tells me that's like uh, going against a like a couple hundred, couple hundred ton mech or something like that. But we're not going to take that. But we've got a bunch of other stuff we can do in the next few episodes. All right. So I'm going to end this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.